Hey guys, it is me, HypoStrike, and welcome to Scum Survival. So it's an awesome zombie survival game. And we've just gotten a massive 0.95 update, and it changes a lot of things. Zombies have become a lot more dangerous. Now they can vault through windows, they can open doors. And on top of that, if you are loud enough inside of towns and cities and other places, you can trigger a horde. So you'll have to be more careful, otherwise there will be a lot of zombies chasing you. And now, welcome to the brand new Scum Survival. I am super excited to fight these new zombies. It looks like there's the sand quarry over there so let's go that way except before we go there we will have to craft ourselves a bow because right now the game is more difficult than ever and running into any cities without a bow is pretty silly there we go i did not break any legs everything is fine so let's try to get some rocks let's get ourselves a knife and there was another massive change that's been added to the 0.95 update so the crafting menu is different now we have the search bar so if i want to craft a knife i can just type that i want to craft a knife and there we go we can craft the stone knife when you double click on it it says what we need we need to get two stones and you can get stones by looking at the ground and sometimes you can find rocks over here so hey let's get these stones we have gotten two rocks so just like that we can craft ourselves our first stone knife once you craft the stone knife it will be here on the ground let's pick it up let's put it in our inmate pants over here and now let's chop down this bush over here all we have to do is just click f on the bush so to craft the bow we will require to get some tree bark rope and to get that tree bark rope we need to get some small wood wooden sticks so that's why we are chopping down here lots of bushes because that's how we can get those small sticks now we have everything we need to craft this 35 pound bow so let's get it and let's craft it now we got the bow let's not forget to equip it we can just drag it over here boom now we have the bow but to use the bow obviously we need to get some arrows and to store these arrows we need to have a backpack to get this backpack we need some rags and some tree bark rope you can get those rags by cutting down your socks so for that you need to have a knife right click on your socks and you can cut them down into rags you can cut down whatever clothes you want here but i prefer to cut down my socks and i'm also gonna cut down my undershirt we will stay with this improvised courier backpack probably for a while because it's a nice backpack you get it at the very beginning. As you can see, when you equip it, you do have here a little bit of storage. That will be just enough for a few arrows. And now another awesome feature that's been added in the 0.95 update is this auto craft button. So I can select arrows and my character will just keep crafting these arrows as long as we have the required materials for it. And that is amazing. Before you'd have to keep clicking craft, now it is a lot, a lot better. So let's double click these arrows. Let's put them in the backpack. So I think I am ready. I've crafted 19 arrows. That should be enough for a while. And there we go. This is the entrance to the sand quarry. Except we came from the back. We should have came from the front. I'd rather go from the front. There we go. Let's go this way. So here I'd love to find a backpack or whatever vehicle. Oh, and also they brought back the pickup truck. Okay, that is interesting. So far, we don't see a single zombie. I guess that's good for me. Okay, we've already found an iron lock i'm gonna get that iron lock because for those who do not know you can put those locks on doors and then zombies won't be able to open up those doors that is kind of important so maybe i will be using that lock if not we'll be able to sell that lock locks usually sell very well to traders in scum survival we have traders in c2 b4 z2 and a1 sectors you can sell basically everything to those traders you can get cash and then you can buy resources from those traders all right i already see the zombie here also there's another important tip and trick if zombies start screaming they can call for backup basically so if they start yelling a zombie horde might appear out of nowhere so you always got to be ready now so just this simple zombie could have just started yelling and then like four five six zombies would have attacked me for no reason and now they can open up doors so you won't be able to hide anywhere i mean i'm gonna take these bullets I don't know what I'll shoot them from. I'll probably have to drop them later. If I find something better, I will start dropping those things. Now, I'm just trying to be so careful. I'm not sure if you can trigger a zombie horde if you run fast enough. I do know if you blast guns without any silencers, that will trigger a zombie horde. If you start exploding grenades, that will trigger a zombie horde. And I just have this tiny little bow. Okay, we found this MK5000 knife. It's important. We're gonna get rid of our stone knife. Let's get this better knife. That knife will last a lot longer than our stone knife. Okay, we found a crowbar already. I can place that on my back. We can use these crowbars to open up some certain locks, or we can lockpick those certain locks. Okay, we've gotten some .22 caliber ammunition, but I cannot take it. We don't really have a lot of space. It's useless. What am I going to use it with? Scum Survival keeps constantly evolving. It's still in early access, but hey, the game is going to come out very soon fully because it's a 0.95 update. The next update is probably going to be 1.0. So as I said, the game keeps evolving. And right now, using guns inside of towns is probably pointless because you will spawn a lot of and a lot of zombies. But I want to check if we have any water. Nope. 
There is no water there. I see another zombie that way. Just one zombie is very dangerous right now. We have to remember that. They can spawn <laughs> other hordes. What did I do to deserve that? Okay, so we found here some more boxes. Let's check those out. Maybe we can find a backpack in these boxes. We found some construction robber boots. Let's equip those boots. I'm pretty sure they're better than those trainer shoes. At least they last longer because the more you walk, the more durability you lose on those shoes. And once you lose your shoes, you will start getting feet abrasions. So we got to be careful. Okay, nothing here. We have gotten a pickaxe. I don't really need that. I don't know if I'll be using any melee weapons in this game anytime soon. We have gotten some earplugs. They will be useful once we find guns. I don't know where I'll be using those guns. Oh uh, no, I've just heard a zombie. Please don't yell. How did you hear me? What happened? What did I do? Okay, we're gonna climb up here in these boulders. Okay, there is a zombie over there. I have no idea how it appeared there. But I come here. Please don't yell. Oh, whoa! Oh, Sir, sleep. There we go. Just jump like crazy. Okay, we're gonna get back these arrows. There's gotta be one more arrow. There we go. Let's get it. So far, I don't think I lost anything. I haven't lost a single arrow. I think I've looted all those boxes. Now, let's go over here. Before, zombies used to spawn here on the ground. Do they still spawn here? I'm not sure because the developers have changed the zombie spawning system. So, the zombies now spawn differently. Before, they would spawn here on the ground. Now, they don't spawn that way. Maybe they'll change it again later. As I said, the game keeps constantly evolving. Oh, and also, we need gloves. So, let's get these construction gloves. Otherwise, we will start getting hand abrasions. You will know when you trigger a horde because when you trigger a horde, the, the zombies start doing like, ah, they start yelling and everything. And you will know that, hey, they're coming. Okay, let's go here. And once again, it is empty. We don't have any zombies here. That's interesting. Maybe you can still find them. I'm just not lucky enough to find them here because it was fun entering a building and finding zombies. And now if these buildings don't have any zombies, I think it might be a little bit sad. It might feel a little bit empty. Here we have looted that building. I'm gonna check this out. Sometimes we can find a pistol here on the table, but apparently not this time. We have gotten some hazelnuts. I'm gonna eat them right now. You can check how much you eat in the metabolism tab here. I've eaten around 120 calories. Also, make sure not overeat too much when your stomach's volume goes above 100%, maybe 120% or something, 115. Your stomach will rupture and you will die. So be careful, do not overeat on lettuce or pumpkins because those things have a lot of volume and they will fill up your stomach. Okay, we've looted these things and I see another zombie and another zombie over there. Alrighty, hello schmucks. Welcome. Okay, I killed that zombie before it could scream or do anything too crazy. I don't want them to yell. I'm just a nice citizen here, trying to get some loot. And that is it. I want to then loot those garages. Okay, there's a zombie that is coming after me. Okay, I got it. Okay, so let's probably check out these garages and then let's go up there. We might find some decent loot that way. And also, this is just one part of the quarry. Then there is another quarry. As you can see here on the map, it's divided into two pieces. Into two sides, whatever. Okay, so we found here a car repair kit. That is beautiful. We also found this cart. Can I drive it? Yes, we can drive this cart. So I, I can get this cart. We can push it. That is huge. Ladies and gentlemen, this will be our vehicle for now. This is actually huge. I will be able to shift F to exit the vehicle while keeping the engine running. I mean, I am the engine here. Okay, shift F, but there is no engine in this thing. Well, thank you for tips and tricks. Let me drive this cart then, this wheelbarrow. Let me get it outside. And that way we will be able to store more loot. How did these zombies appear here out of nowhere? What is going on? What did I do to deserve that? How do we have those zombies there? I don't get it. Whatever, I'm gonna get this car repair kit. That'll be beautiful when we find a car. Let's drop it here. I don't want those zombies to attack me. So yeah, for now, a lot of people are not really too happy with those zombies spawning out of nowhere. And I kind of get it. But hey, I'm hoping that that stuff will be fixed in the future or something. Maybe they'll spawn more naturally. Because right now, when I came here, there were no zombies. And now there are like three zombies outside. I don't mind fighting them. I like that. But it is a little bit immersion breaking. As I said, this update just came out. I'm pretty sure it'll get fixed later. Okay, we're going to get this small toolbox with us. Let's get that here let's drop it in the wheelbarrow and there are a few zombies it's not that difficult to fight those three schmucks it is more difficult to kill them fast enough so they don't spawn other guys okay can i shoot them from far away okay i shot that zombie just a bit and i killed it that is good it did not see anything 
Well, it's fine. That Those zombies can sleep. They kind of started moving away from me. That's good. Let's close this door. Let's not forget about our wheelbarrow because for a while that'll be our vehicle. That'll be our main car. That's actually fantastic. I did not expect that we'll get this awesome car for us. It's always nice to be able to store some more loot. We have anything here? Nothing. Nothing. We're, we're just getting some tire repair kits. Those things maybe are useful. I don't know. We've gotten another car repair kit. Wait, we find a lot of these car repair kits. Maybe they've changed the, the loot spawns. Now we do find a lot. Another car repair kit. I mean, we are in a garage that makes sense to find a car repair kit here, but we are getting so many of them. That is an insane amount of car repair kits. We've also gotten this rebar cutter. We can sell that. But hey, maybe I'm not going to bother about that too much. I'm going to drop that here. And I can hear zombies. Where are they? I can hear it breathe. Were those two zombies? Did I hear them from that far away? Yes, I did. Okay, I killed another zombie. They despawn very fast. There was another dead body, but now it's gone. What about my arrows, though? Okay, that zombie's still alive. Don't you dare to yell. There we go, no sleep. Okay, so I dealt with these guys. There's another zombie from somewhere. Okay, it's over there. Dude, it's in the bush. What is it doing? Okay, we got that zombie in the bush. I have already lost a decent amount of arrows. That is not cool. Okay, I want to get back these arrows from this zombie and I want to bring my cart a little bit closer. Another zombie just spawned there. What is going on? So what if I go that way the zombies will spawn there again? That is a lot of zombies. That's all I have to say. Okay, we got to kill it before it sees me. Before it starts screaming. Again, I'm not really sure if that's a good feature or a bad feature that they appear out of nowhere. As I said, it is a little bit immersion breaking, but from what I know, the game performs now a lot better. Also, there will be more zombies on multiplayer servers because for a while, those zombies were causing a lot of performance issues. So now maybe people will be able to have more zombies in multiplayer. I don't know. In any case, I just want to give this update a try. I want to see if it's good or bad. And probably I'll have to go all the way up there because I do not have a compass, but I assume north is that way. Well, I'm going to leave my cart here for now and maybe I'm going to drop my crowbar. I don't need that crowbar here. There we go. Oh, and I have more things. I have the shuriken. Let's drop the shuriken, this and the iron lock inside of this thing. I didn't mean to lock it. Let's remove the lock. I meant to drop the lock here. So there we go. We can store more things. That is amazing. We have another zombie up there. That is not what the doctor ordered all the way there. I mean, can I kill it from this far away? I will waste a few arrows on it. That zombie's still alive. There we go. We killed it. I had to waste three arrows. There's no way I'll be able to get back those arrows, though. Okay, so zombies did stop spawning inside of buildings. Is that normal? I'm thinking maybe it would be better to get another type of zombies because constantly being scared that, hey, a zombie's gonna call another horde is weird. It would be cool if we had, like, screamer zombies and maybe then those screamer zombies could scream because if every zombie can scream, maybe we'll get too paranoid. I have no idea. I am already paranoid. I want to kill those zombies as fast as possible. But it's just a matter of time before one of them starts screaming. Okay, I want to go up here. And perhaps I will be able to get back my arrows. Thank you very much. There we go. I got back my three arrows. That's exactly what the doctor ordered. We could go up here to get to another sand quarry part. Maybe that's what I'll do. But before we do this, I need to get my cart. And I won't be able to bring this cart from here. So we'll have to go from another side. Well, that's all right. I will do it. We will find a way. We'll do everything. Everything will be all right. We found an entire stack of 0.22 ammo. I'm going to take it. Why not? It fits. I might as well take it. We've gotten a jacket. Biker leather jacket. There we go. We have so much storage. This is amazing. This thing is bigger than my backpack. And plus my character looks kind of cool with it, right? There we go. Plus, we've got a new hiking boots. I'm going to take those boots. So we have gotten a decent amount of loot. Not that bad. We just need to get better pants. We can get like cargo pants or something. And those things have a lot of pockets. And we can store a decent amount of loot there. So I'll have to get my cart and drive it all the way to the top. I'll drive that cart with my legs. And hey, I'm not really sure if there are many other things left for me to check out. I have checked these things out, right? For sure. And nothing here. I wish there was an automatic bow or something that would shoot like choo, 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 because I'm pretty sure even if you put silencers on your guns, they still make noise. So you won't be able to blast your guns even with the silencers as they will spawn more zombies. But I want to use my guns. I can hear another zombie. Where is it? Oh, there we go. There it is. It spawned that way. Oh, that's a riot zombie. Okay, police zombie. Don't you dare to scream. Go give me back my arrows. I think we got everything there is to get. I did lose definitely a few arrows. That's fine, though. 
I want to get back my wheelbarrow. I love when Scum Survival gets more difficult. Now these zombies are more difficult than ever because they can yell, they can summon another horde. However, we are constantly being paranoid. I think it would be better if we had some screamer zombies instead of other zombies. Because if every zombie can yell... My heart won't be able to handle it for too long. Okay, I already see a zombie. Over. Look at this. It just yelled. Shut your mouth. I don't think it spawned the zombies, though. I don't think so. It did yell. Yes. But I don't think it spawned the zombies. I think there's also a chance for those zombies to spawn. Maybe that wasn't a real cry for help, so whatever. I'm glad we dealt with that zombie. So I'm all in for making Scum Survival more difficult. The more difficult the zombies, the better. But yeah, they definitely need to fix the thing where zombies spawn out of nowhere. Because when I le left that garage, more zombies spawned there. Oh no, there's a zombie there. Speaking of zombies, we have another zombie chasing us. Got it. Okay, got it. So let's lay it down. Let's restore a little bit of stamina. We can see that stamina in the bottom left corner. And my character's stomach is yellow. That means probably only one thing that I am hungry. Let's go to health. And yep, stomach empty. We have to eat something. Sadly, I did not get anything to eat there. Well, I have restored my stamina. We can drive this card again. Look at this. There's another zombie that spawned down there. And even before zombies would respawn like every 10 to 15 minutes. But there is no way that they respawn that fast. Maybe if zombies keep coming out of bushes or coming out of some special houses. I don't know. I am pretty sure the devs will figure it out. Because I've already seen a lot of people say that, hey, zombies spawning out of nowhere. That's very immersion breaking. And I have to agree on that. Oh no, there's a schmuck. Will I be able to ever get to the top? Okay. It did yell, but I don't think it spawned a horde. Okay, another zombie. Dude, you gotta be kidding me. Now a horde! Do you hear that? A horde is coming after us. I gotta get more arrows real quick. Now a horde is coming after me. I don't know where they'll come from. Oh my goodness. I didn't mean to get attacked by that zombie. We are losing a little bit of health, but that's all right. That is all right. Just one attack. I did not see those schmucks. I need to start running away from them. I need to start running away from them. Okay. We're gonna die, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna die just like that with this bow. I cannot go. More schmucks! That's it! And I cannot hide anywhere! I need to go. Oh my goodness. One schmuck! Okay, we need to now outrun these zombies and do something about that. I lost my card, but I will get it back. As you saw, that horde just appeared. It's all right. It is all right. You can outrun these zombies. That'll probably be a new strategy. You'll have to outrun them. Don't fight them. Um, where am I going to hide, though? What am I going to do? Let's go up here. I don't have any rags. Okay, I do have a zombie just that chased me. We got here. Now, let's check the health. Oh, no. A lot of infected injuries. That's it. I'm telling you, that is ridiculous. My bow wasn't fast enough. I couldn't just shoot those zombies. It's so hard to shoot those zombies when zombies attack you because the guy stops charging the bow. And, uh, yeah. Okay, there's another zombie that way. Well, at least I got up here. Dude, it's going to be difficult. It is going to be difficult. How do I get more rags, though, to patch up all of these wounds? I need to get alcohol or something. I can't do anything. Found nothing. Now we have to go back up. I don't even know how those zombies spawned. I don't know what I did. Okay, my bleeding injuries are stopping, but they are infected though. And uh, my contamination at some... Yeah, at some point, it'll go to 100%. All of those wounds that I have, I should probably remove my clothes to remove the contamination. But I will see. Hopefully, we'll survive. If we die, we die. That's the sacrifice I'm willing to make. So, hey, I have to probably relearn how to play... Oh, I didn't loot these rooms. Maybe that was meant to happen. These rooms usually have some decent loot. So I'll probably have to relearn how to play Scum Survival. As soon as you see a zombie horde, you probably have to run and then you have to kill them one by one. Because when you have like six, seven zombies running after you, it's probably not possible to kill them with the bow. I mean, when you're not prepared. Okay. We can kill them kind of decently. Maybe I... Need to get a better bow, better arrows. Then I think we can kill them to the body shot, not to the head shot. We did get a little bit of soap, but I don't think I can rub that soap on my 
wounds. <laughs> That's not going to work. That was fun, though. I'm not gonna lie. That was fun. Getting chased by those zombies, that was very fun. We're gonna get this gas mask. I do appreciate that. We can sell that gas mask. We can use it for the kill boxes. I don't know when we'll go to those kill boxes. So most likely, I'll just sell that gas mask. And that is it. Okay, so maybe there are a few buildings that I did not check. But you know what? I gotta get out of here. We have 56 health, ladies and gentlemen. In the down left corner, we have 56 health. Maybe if I had a melee weapon, I could push them away. But by the time you get that melee weapon, other zombies on the back will get to you. So I have almost 500 hours in this comes from... Ooh, we've gotten a, an axe. I'll get it. Plus, we've gotten a small screwdriver. I'll get that as well. But as I was saying, I almost have 500 hours in Scum Survival. And I always tried to fight every zombie that I find. Because it was fun. And they were not that dangerous. But now here we have like seven zombies that came out of nowhere. I have to change my tactics. I have to run away from them. Does that make any sense? I have no idea. Is that good or bad? I have no idea. As I said, I need to give it some time to figure it out. There's a zombie down there. We will avoid it. Before I would just go and kill it now... If I trigger that zombie, that zombie can scream. That zombie can trigger other zombies. So is it worth it? I think I'll find myself more and more frequently avoiding zombies. Okay, I have no idea where I left my cart. Please tell me, don't trigger another zombie horde. This time I will die. I'm at 56 health. And I can't even clear the path to pull to push this cart again as those zombies will respawn. Okay, there's a zombie down there. I will get it because it does make some noise. I don't like that. Okay, it's still alive. How are you still alive, schmuck? There we go. Now it's dead. So let's try to get our cart. Do we have anything useful in that cart? Nothing. We have repair kits. I wish I had a human repair kit. That'd be better. Okay, I want to go to my health menu real quick. Okay, that stuff will restore soon. Okay, I'm going to push it perhaps slower because the faster I push, maybe the more noise I make. I mean, we can, we can see the noise meter in the bottom left corner, but it's kind of the same. I don't mind when they like kind of spawned out of nowhere-ish in this situation. I mean, they came from the hills. I did not see how they spawned. Sorry, they might have been hiding behind hills or whatever. They did spawn out of nowhere, but I didn't see them how they spawned. So that was not really too much immersion breaking. I have mentioned that a few times already, but what I love about survival games is learning new things. And this update definitely makes me want to play in a different play style. So we have to kind of relearn Scum Survival. However, it is very difficult now. Maybe for an average player, it is a little bit too difficult. However, developers do tweak stuff. So every time they release something that is too OP, they will nerf it or they will buff it. Okay, let's try to prone. Let's click X. That way we can restore stamina a lot faster. We can also hold tab. We can go to actions and we can lay down. And while laying down, we can restore our our stamina even faster and there we go we have gotten to another side of the same quarry sadly i don't have a bigger backpack so i still have to carry this wheelbarrow with me i cannot just leave it here also in the down left corner you can see that i'm very thirsty so we need to find some water i'm gonna leave my card here there we go let's get the boat hopefully this thing doesn't despawn all right i'm gonna leave the card here and let's start checking some of these places out maybe we'll find some water we've gotten another mk5000 knife for now i'll get it I don't know why I need it. That seems very stupid to have it, but hey, I'll get it. We have another crowbar. Thanks. I'm not going to take it. We could drop it in the card here, but hey, the heavier the card, the harder it is to push it. Well, you know what? I will get that crowbar. We could attack maybe zombies with this crowbar, but that would be silly. I'm not doing it. Okay, so I have my card. In case I find some things, I will be running back to this card because I'll have to leave this place through this entrance, so... I will get back to that card eventually. I don't think I need to bring this card with me all the way here. As it'll be a bit annoying. Okay, let's deal with the zombie from further away. Usually I would... Back in the days, I would get closer to the zombie and then I would shoot it. But now we have to be more careful. We have a lighter. I don't know if I need it. If we need fire, we can always craft a an improvised fire drill. All we need is just a few sticks, so that's pretty easy. Okay, we found another toolbox. That is lovely. Let's get that toolbox in my hands oh no i see another zombie that way we gotta be careful wait have i looted all of these boxes then yes i have apparently looted that we're gonna deal with that zombie very soon i just want to run back to my wheelbarrow i want to store it i don't even know if it's worth it to kill these zombies before you would kill them so that they despawn and uh, it's peaceful but now they are there if i kill them they will respawn very soon probably so i don't think it matters Okay, we got that zombie. There's a zombie up, up there. I didn't even see it. I just heard it. Okay, we got this schmuck. It is cool that zombies can growl. And you can hear them. I have only six arrows. Six. What happened to my arrows? Six! Six bloody arrows. I'm gonna deal with this zombie down there. 
Okay, I got some. Now I want to get back my arrows for... Okay, we do have some more. Eight, now nine arrows. That is something, but that's still nothing. Wait, is that a new vehicle? No, those are just broken cars. Okay, there's another zombie in the bush somewhere. I need to get probably more arrows. There we go, that zombie's in the bush. You cannot see it. Good. Camouflaged itself. Okay, it did yell. But I don't think it triggered the zombie horde. That was pretty quiet. Okay. Alright, how about I chop this thing down? I will make some noise. Hopefully that does not trigger a zombie horde. Another zombie appeared out of nowhere. Was it always in the bush there? I don't know. What I do know is that I'm gonna get these arrows. Well, we have something. Let's get this schmuck. Well, at least... Oh no, don't yell! So as soon as the zombie horde spawns, I have to start running. There's a bear. There's literally a bear. This game wants to kill me today. I'm telling you. Everything I do, every step I take is ridiculous. Why there is a bear? At least bears cannot open doors, right? I know, Scum Scarlet seems very difficult right now. That's all I'll say. It's ridiculously difficult. Okay, let's get the sunglasses. I want to see how I look. I'd say pretty good. That's all I have to say about my character. Okay, perhaps some food, something. That bear will be an issue. I'll just avoid it. I won't be able to kill that bear with, with the bow that I have here. Unless I cheese it. But I wouldn't be surprised if they can open doors as well now. So I'm going to be careful with that. Also, these are the toilets, right? Here, sometimes you can find backpacks. Not this time. Before, you could find zombies here, but now they're not sleeping. So yeah, I did like when zombies were inside of buildings. I think those zombie hordes were a nice addition. But I also think that zombies should have stayed in those buildings. Maybe not sleeping. Or maybe sleeping. I don't know. It doesn't matter. I like the old spawning system as well. Okay, now another zombie's coming. And they are attacking the bear. Oh, I've never seen this. Zoom in. Check this out. Have you guys ever seen this before? Why is the bear running away from those schmucks? Have you ever, ever seen that before, ladies and gents? Have never in my life seen that zombies would attack bears. That's it. They ran away. They chased down that schmuck. Thanks. I guess that's awesome, but I've never seen that before. Is that a new addition or was it always in the game? I don't have a slightest clue. I don't think it matters. They can run after those bears now. That's cool. There's a zombie there. I got it. There it goes dead. I won't be able to recover that arrow. But that's fine. As long as that zombie's dead. I like that. Okay, we've gotten a, an advanced lockpick. I'll get that advanced lockpick. It is better than nothing. It does fit here in my backpack perfectly. We've gotten another lockpick. I'll get that. And perhaps some water. Nope, it's 0% full. I haven't even shown you that zombies can vault now. Or break down doors. I did show that at the very beginning of the video. Oh, there's an airdrop coming to this A3 sector. But I... I do have a screwdriver in that, so I could lockpick two things only. So maybe we will run towards that airdrop. A backpack? No. That's a bottle I can't drink. No! I want food. Drink! We have water, ladies and gentlemen! We found some water! There we go, that's what I'm talking about. Water! Ladies and gentlemen, water. Uh, let's check how much more water we got. 21% of water, that's great. I wish I had a container. Or something. Okay, contamination is almost at 100%, so I might cause some issues. Okay, so we have this infection, ladies and gentlemen. We have now... We need to get antibiotics. That's not cool. Okay, I did drink a lot of water, didn't I? Let's go to metabolism. I drank almost an entire liter of water. Because that's something. I never saw any water in my life. And I just chugged it down, baby. Okay, we can loot that purse. Nothing. We have lime soda. There we go. Can I, like, pour this out? I can spill the lime soda and... Or maybe I shouldn't spill it. I'm gonna just keep that lime soda with me. I wanted to spill it and get water, but I don't think we have a lot of water there. I cannot disinfect my wounds. To disinfect these wounds, I'd have to... I don't know. I need my antibiotics now. That's it. That's the only way to save me. Is to find antibiotics. <laughs> but I don't have any! Do I go to the airdrop? Maybe that airdrop will have some antibiotics. I don't know. I know nothing. I'm scared. I'm scared of random zombies. I don't want them to destroy me. Okay, I've just looted some random boxes. We found nothing. So we did find this firefighter helmet. It does give us some some heat though. So we are warming up. So I'm not gonna take that helmet though. But it's kind of cool. We've gotten a brand new firefighter armor. 
kind of cool. If you're into that stuff, it's always nice to get more armor. It's always nice to get more clothes. Okay, we found a fishing rod. I thought that's a baseball bat. And now there are no zombies here. Like, seriously, we haven't seen a single zombie spawn inside of buildings. Okay, we've gotten this grinding stone. It is quite important. I want to get it. You can rotate stuff by holding control and turning your mouse button. And we've gotten another screwdriver that doesn't fit anywhere. I'm going to drop the, the ammunition. I could drop the gas mask. It is expensive, but I'm dropping it. Ladies and gentlemen, we should survive and worry about this rather than worrying about other things, right? Let's not worry about cash yet. Could have probably dropped other things than that gas mask. Doesn't matter. What happened, that happened. That's it. Let's not dwell on it. I found some seeds, red onion seeds. I'm pretty sure I can eat all of them. The seeds are pretty good usually. We've got 200 and something calories from that. Not too shabby. If you ask me, I like that. Plus, we've gotten a Halloween mask. Usually Halloween masks sell pretty well. But hey, that does not matter. So let's not forget about the airdrop. It fell that way, right? I do remember that. I heard a zombie. Hopefully it doesn't come after me here. We've got another screwdriver. Dude, we can now loot something useful there. We can loot almost an entire airdrop. However, will I be able to store anything? I'll need to bring my wheelbarrow that way. I don't think I'll be able to loot it. I don't think I'll have enough time to loot it. Unless I leave my wheelbarrow and then I just run without the wheelbarrow. But then how will I get all the loot? It's also silly. Will okay, so my health is going lower now. I am pretty sure about it. I have an infection. An infection and everything. Immune system, 97%. Can I get antibiotics in this? At this place? Can I get antibiotics? Please. Pretty please. Okay, there is a zombie. We got it. If I don't get antibiotics, I am dead. I'm a dead man. I'm gonna kill another zombie. Wait, is that it? Are we done looting this place? Well, more or less. I don't think there's anything. Uh... Is that a box or is that a backpack? I don't think so. Okay, that zombie just saw me. I mean, things go south, I can climb a ladder. I don't think zombies can climb ladders. They're not that smart yet. Okay, there we go. They are very fast. They should be slower, I guess. They are very, very fast though. My health goes lower. No, no, my infection, my immune system, no. Treatment, boost your immune system with antibiotics, disinfect the wounds with aseptic. Remove any dirty clothes from the wounds and use aseptic rags or other sterile medicine or whatever. I don't have any of that, sir. Nothing. Like, completely nothing. I got nothing. Well, I climbed here all the way to the top. And guess what? This place had absolutely nothing. So I could hide here from the zombies, perhaps. But that was useless. Okay, we still have one more zombie down there. How about I try to shoot it? Oh my goodness, I triggered it and now it's gonna run and yell. How does it know where I shot it from? How is it so smart? Oh wow, it can come after me. It will come after me! Okay, died. Nice. Maybe they're not that smart. <laughs> Maybe they're not that smart. That was so funny. The dude just chased me and died. Well... That does get my approval. My health is going slower and lower. Antibiotics found zero. Okay, what I need to do is get to the airdrop. And it's that way. And there are zombies around me. We have just seven arrows. I also found a motorbike! Please tell me it has at least something. Please tell me it has another wheel. It does not have another wheel. Disappointment is immeasurable. The day's been ruined. If it had another wheel, we could just dip out of this place on a motorbike. If it has anything else in it. It, does, it doesn't have any fuel, though, either. So that's kind of sad. Uh, we found a combat helmet. Cool. But it does give us some heat, and I'm already too hot. I mean, my character is already super warm. He's already complaining about the warmth. So there's that. We found a car battery, which is useful. I should get it. I should get that car battery. We need to find some space for it immediately. I'm gonna stack these arrows. I will move some things into the backpack here. And I can get this car. Oh no, the car battery does not fit here. I need to drop the grinding stone then. It's cool. I'm gonna grind this axe, right? Let's repair it. There we go. Now we can drop the grinding stone. I can get the knife and I can get the car battery. And it does fit in my biker leather jacket when I turn it around. That thing was useful. I found one small screwdriver. I could get it instead of these bullets whatever let's drop the bullets we found another gas mask thanks i don't need it so now let's go after the airdrop it's all the way there all i have to do is just 
run straight to the airdrop and then I have to get my wheelbarrow. The wheelbarrow is there. I will be back for that wheelbarrow probably because if I start pushing that wheelbarrow now, I won't be able to get to my airdrop. The only thing that can save us right now are the antibiotics probably. It would be great to get some of them at the airdrop. Okay, the smoke is that way. Let's go, let's go, let's go. The most silly thing that I've done is not clear out my inventory. So my inventory is full. So why on earth am I even running to this airdrop? Okay, I do see a few zombies here. Can they... Oh no, now there are zombies around the airdrop. We never had that many zombies around the airdrop. That definitely gets my approval. That gets my approval. I love that. Airdrops should be more guarded. However, I have only like seven arrows. I don't know if more zombies can spawn around the airdrops. Maybe. Maybe can they can trigger zombie hordes here as well. That might be just my place where I died, ladies and gents. There we go. I aggroed some of them, and now they're going to come after me. And I'll try to get them. Okay. I got another one. We got to be more careful. We only got a bow. Dude, I just want to get inside. Can they open airdrop doors, though? So cool. I love this. This is the best change after the zombies being able to vault from this update. Okay. I needed this. Okay. We got them, ladies and gentlemen. Did you see that? Hood the robin. <laughs> Where are my arrows? There we go. There's my arrow in the head and I can't pick it up. I have only four more arrows. I have four or five arrows. There are more zombies. Did they respawn just now again? I wouldn't be surprised. Okay. Give me back my two arrows. So I dealt with that clump of zombies. And there is another clump of zombies here. Like there are three, four zombies more. You gotta be kidding me. I can't loot it because I don't have any arrows. I have only four or five arrows. That's nothing. I need to get away from there to chop down a few more bushes and then that place is going to respawn the zombies again. Oh lord. I still like that change though. Airdrops should have zombies. Definitely. Maybe for it to be more realistic, the airdrop should, uh, should perhaps beep, emit some sort of sound. And that would indicate that hey, it's attracting zombies. So I'm in the process of crafting more arrows. Actually, I cannot hold more arrows. I can only hold 12 arrows. All right, let's get back to that airdrop. I mean, if I die here, I die here. However, I don't want to die. I just want to get the airdrop. Oh my goodness, there are more zombies. So many of them. Okay, how about I get some of them? I got one of those. That dude is still alive. Dead. Dead. Almost. Dead. Dead. Okay, so... A decent portion of those zombies just died. Now I just need to deal with these bush campers. Hey, schmucks! However many of you are there. I think there's only one zombie, though. I can hear it growl, but I don't see it. It's here, though. I think I killed it. I don't know where it was, but I think I killed it. I even got my arrow back. I did see Zed just a little bit. Okay. Okay. So without any further ado, let's open this up. Two more minutes! Uh, I have my stupid gloves and I just wasted the lockpick. Okay, we're gonna loot that later. We just need to do this. We got two minutes, ladies and gentlemen. Two minutes. Okay, I just need antibiotics and whatever. I won't be able to get all of the loot. So all of the thing that I get here will be wasted. I might drop the car battery if we get something good. Go, 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 go. Oh my goodness. Go on, go on, go on. Idiot. Lockpick, 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 lockpick. Uh, okay, we did this. I want to get back my gloves and let's start loading. What do we get? More of these. I'm taking the lockpicks. Uh, a gun, a ghillie suit. I'm equipping everything. Scopes and ammunition. We'll see. A car battery and alternator. I don't need that. We have one minute to dip out of here. We've got a bunch of more screwdrivers. I'll take those. And anything here? Any food? Uh, medical gloves and respirator. Wait, oh, we haven't loaded this yet. Another car battery. Wait, did we get two car batteries? That's silly. That is silly. Okay, so I'm probably gonna get the ammunition instead of these advanced lock because they're cool and all. Actually, that, that stuff still fits. I want to get my scope. Do I want to get the scope? Yes, I also need the silencer. I'm gonna get the silencer instead of the scope. And now I need this. I'm panicking. My hands are shaking. I cannot get that scope. Unless I drop the two screwdrivers. Why do I need the scope? 
We got 30 seconds, ladies and gents. We gotta dip out! I might have lost something, but we gotta dip out! Or this thing will explode and I'll explode with it! I'm dipping out, ladies and gentlemen! <laughs> it's like in a movie, ladies and gentlemen. Go and don't kill me. The radius is pretty big, though. I don't hear it beep. Is it still on the map? It's gone. I did not even hear it explode. That's kind of sad. Oh, there we go. Now it exploded, ladies and gentlemen. Whew! We did it! We did what, though? Nothing. I still don't have my antibiotics. My health keeps going lower because... Guess what? My infections are ridiculous. I'm sweating like a pig because of this ghillie suit top. I will probably leave that cart there for now because I need antibiotics. So let's probably run this way and let's run towards a town or something. But at least we got some stuff from the airdrop. I'm not really sure if I need this ghillie suit top. It's one kilo and it does warm me up a lot. So I'm not sure that I want it. It does look cool, doesn't it? So now our goal is very simple. I want to get to this town in B3 Square and I need to get there some antibiotics. So I'll keep running towards that town. And if I die, I will probably respawn and get all of my loot off the body. But hey, we will continue this story in the next episode so subscribe to not miss that video and i highly suggest you check out my previous scum survival let's player click here on the second card and you'll get my days gone let's player hop over to my channel go to playlist and there you'll find a lot of other games that are played here on the channel if you're not subscribed yet definitely make sure to jump subscribe button and notification bell to not miss any future videos and see you in the next one